My name is Caroline Zikraff. I'm a PhD student at University of Liège in Liège, Belgium. I'm 24 years old and I'm originally from Michigan in the United States. I studied my bachelor's degree at Michigan State University before traveling to Leiden University in the Netherlands and now I'm doing the PhD in Liège. Um, well, I study social and political sciences, but my specific focus is migration studies. And so that's part of the reason I have migrated to Europe. And from the Netherlands, once I finished my master's, I was looking for programs specifically in Moroccan migration to Europe. And there happened to be a fellowship program starting um, in the University of Liège with uh, fairly well-known scholars in my field, so it was a perfect match as far as research interests as well as um, locational interests. Well, I was very lucky in that the program I found was funded by the French-speaking com community here in Belgium, and so I have a fully fun funded fellowship along with three other PhD students in this um, specific program called Tricud. I've been living in Belgium for seven months and before that I was doing my PhD for two additional months and before that it was two and a half years living in the Netherlands and my impressions of Belgium as well as the Benelux region are very good. Obviously I've chosen to live here for quite some time and it's a great place to study because there's so many different cultures especially in Belgium with the Flemish and the French along with um, various migration patterns and it's also a great place as far as location in Europe because we're so close to Germany, France, the Netherlands um, and pretty much anywhere in Europe you want to go. Uh, as far as the visa process I did have a couple problems but I would generally chalk that up to timing in that if you want to come study in Belgium, and this goes for any European country um, or any country outside of the US, I think it's very important to research the steps that you need to take, which application materials are required, and especially administrative because some of the documents uh, you might not think of right away, so, and they take a bit longer than you <laughs> might hope or want. But um, the, for me, the application process actually took place in the Netherlands because I was resident of the Netherlands at the time. But um, otherwise, I know that you should look into where you have to apply because as far as I know, the Belgian consulates are in a uh, few cities that for myself, being from Michigan, I would have had to apply in New York. So that's another thing to think about in advance. Belgium is a great place to study and although it may not be the first th country that people think of, it's actually quite well known for various programs and with Brussels and uh, Ghent or Antwerp and Liège, there are universities in all different types of cities and places, so whether you want more of a campus experience or more of a city urban environment and whether you want to be in a place that's Flemish speaking or somewhere that's French speaking, you kind of have it all in Belgium and I think that's one of the great things and there's also a lot of research that goes on amongst the Belgian universities and I think that's one of the big pluses so that um, when you come for an American student you have all sorts of sources available to you and support networks so you can travel through different universities and so I think it's a great place to study and um, I think for Americans it's a definitely a great idea to come to Europe to study because there's so many opportunities and research and so many different connections to be made and also just getting a bit of a different world view on um, living and studying and working and meeting professors, students and just general people in your daily life that have different experiences, different backgrounds and a lot of different contributions to your general life experience. If you like waffles, beer, and chocolate, there's no better place to study than Belgium.